My son's going off to law school this year, and he recently received a form from the school. It had the week marked off and every hour within the week. And they asked him to fill out his schedule. He's taking 15 credit hours, and they say that he'll have a minimum of three hours of homework for every hour of classwork. So he fills it out and realizes that he starts the week off with 60 hours plus already allotted, not counting his daily responsibilities and routines outside of school. He's finding that the more responsibility one has, the more busy and oftentimes the more hectic life can become. Now, the sheet is designed to help him allot everything a specific time. Otherwise, his brain would constantly be working trying to remember everything that had to be done all at once. And that would quickly drain him and lead to burnout. Kind of like my iPhone, if I have too many apps running in the background, it causes my battery to drain faster. Jesus spoke about time often. He talked about a time of rest and when it was time to work and when it was time to go raise Lazarus from the dead, his death, his burial, his resurrection, his return. In Ecclesiastes 3.1, we find this verse that says, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. If we'll schedule our time so that we can use it effectively, we'll have more energy and more enjoyment for what we have in front of us. It will allow us to focus our attention on that one thing without worrying about all the other things that we have to do. If we'll follow that schedule, we'll be successful and we'll get it all done. We've all been given 24 hours in a day. We all have the same amount of time. Paul tells us in Ephesians that we should redeem the time. We should make the most of every moment. The key to less stress and more success is how we manage our time. And that's my aha moment for today.